Uh, thank you so already. Um, and then this is a study that uh, I'm busy with, uh, together with the, my supervisor, Olamo. Uh, this is about a uh, week that most of us we know. Uh, it's very popular I think, around here as well in KZN, the Tecoma State. It was uh, introduced as an ornamental plant, as most of the invasive wheat that we have, and then uh, deep escape cultivation. As a result, it's uh, invading almost everywhere. The water courses outside, uh, and and everything. And then it's, it's well distributed in all, almost all of provinces in South Africa. Uh, I've seen it a lot of it here in uh, KZN, Limpopo, and uh, Mana. Um, there has been work uh, done by biological, there's been biological control of this Tacoma uh, stand, and then uh, of the insect that have been brought and worked on, three were cleared for release, and then uh, one was released in 2010, and that was a prosodium. Pro Transformers, but then it failed to establish. And then recently, last year, a uh, uh, beetle was uh, uh, released, and that was the mother polluter. Uh, the first release uh, well, was done uh, somewhere in spring, uh, uh, that's September. And then uh, we've seen the uh, initial establishment also here around KZN. And then last week, uh, Sudan Apomizer, which is a leaf mining uh, fly, was uh, approved for the lizard, so I might just say it's out now. Um, then uh, this is what uh, we'll be working on, what we are working on now, which is high cutting level species, not yet identified, uh, we're busy with uh, studying it and about to identify it. Uh, this is a beetle, which is a root feeding beetle, uh, it was uh, this is net native in, in, in Mexico, and then uh, this brings a new dimension into what is, has already been there uh, in terms of biological agent. This biological agent that we are having now, the two of them which have been released, are targeting the leaf areas. But then this one targets adults, targets the, the leaves, while the uh, larvae. I attend the, the roots, which is a bit uh, good. Um, uh, this is a very good agent, which has a short life cycle of about 59 days to 60. Therefore, it, it, it reproduces very fast. And then uh, in the lab there, in the quarantine, uh, we are rating it uh, for temperatures that are ranging from 20 to 30 degrees Celsius uh, and uh, 30, 43 to 84 humidity. So, so far we have tested it on uh, close to 12 uh, different test plants and then um, we tested it, uh, on the plants that we have tested it on, it has only on three, which are Tacoma species, the Tacoma stems, Tacoma alata, and Tacoma capensis. Uh, on the Tacoma stems it was expected and then uh, it fed, had uh, several generations, but then uh, disappeared, which has been one of the problems that we've been having. Uh, Teokoma at that time compenses, it did fed, had a bit of evil, okay, and then uh, it didn't have any larvae or any other generation development. So what we're going to do now, we, we're going to develop <coughs> new uh, techniques and also we have first recollect it, because we've been struggling to keep it over for Three generations, so we still have to find out what the problem is. Uh, we still have to do the biology, and then still several plants that we still have to test as well. And we still have to be busy with the pre-release impact studies as well and complete the. Uh,